collector like Ooh, ooh, yeah, ooh, yeah, ooh, ooh, yeah, ooh, ooh, yeah, ooh, ooh, yeah, Especially our younger brothers and sisters who are having suicidal thoughts. Some have actually committed suicide and there will be more. I get it. I've been there. And I know that many of us adults who watch have been there and some of us are still struggling with self-realization and trying to find a way to exists in a world that is not very friendly a great deal of times not very receptive to differences and diversity especially in certain communities I'm not going to go there but we know the kind of world that we live in so I wanted to do a video with the subject matter so what people don't like you because I see so many people pretending to be something or someone they are not. It is human nature to want to belong and feel validated. It is in the DNA. It is in the programming. And many of us, when we are feeling sad and depressed and isolated, scared and confused and have a lot of questions, we are at our most vulnerable state. And if we don't have the right guidance or enough experience underneath our belt to wherewithal or to navigate through it all, we can make choices and fall into the traps that will end up doing us far more harm than good. I remember when I was a little boy, I didn't care so much about um, trying to fit in for acceptance but I try to buy people to accept me so in other words I didn't have that desire or that need to try to bend and pretend and act hard and be a certain way to get people to like me I try to get people to like me based on what I could give them I remember uh, I used to one of my first jobs I used to make lunch for everybody and go to work go to work every day and give lunch to everybody and that was my own way of trying to get people to like me I can look back on it now and kind of chuckle about it but that's where I was but most people are bending denying and suppressing who they are in order to blend in and have the acceptance acceptance of others and this is where and this is why the majority are just following along going against their own unique expression their own moral code and many people have lost their lives this way have destroyed their lives because of this and many people are in jail on drugs I can go on and on and on why because they and we wanted so badly to be accepted by the popular or the popular crew or what is most accepted or what is seen as cool we wanted to be accepted by that and we decided to go against our own unique natural expression go against our own integrity, our own moral code, our own belief system, whatever the case may be, we decide to go against that in order to be accepted. And what I want us to understand and realize is that when we do this, we are giving our energy to an inauthentic cause. And guess what? When we do that, it reverberates, it comes back, and we end up living and being an inauthentic person, having an inauthentic life, an imprisoned life, a deceitful life, 
a life of deception, a life of lies. And when we become that, we magnify that and attract more people, situations that will magnify that. And before you know it, we're in this vicious cycle and don't know how we got in it. And for many of us, by the time we wake up and realize what has happened, we're too knee deep in the doo-doo. So what is there to be gained by having a bunch of people liking you? What would, what would we really gain from that? Yeah, we will probably feel like we belong and we fit in, but I guarantee you, you won't be happy. You will not be happy. You will continue to feel the need to do things, to take things, to fill a void. Because that's not an authentic connection when we try to bend and blend in and force ourselves into a situation. Some of us are like circles trying to push ourselves into a square peg and vice versa. We have a unique expression for a reason. If we were all supposed to be the same, we would look the same, we would think the same, we would be the same. Nature would have made that so. The almighty or the God or whatever you want to believe would have made it so. So why are so many of us trying to force ourselves to go against what is natural for and to us? Because we want to go by what is popular, what is based on a paradigm or construct that has been pre-approved by the mass consciousness the mainstream and we all know that's not always the way to go because we see what that produces time and time again one sheep following another sheep it is a lonely walk I'm not gonna lie when you stand in your truth and don't want to do what's popular or don't want to be uh, a part of the so-called in crowd it can be very lonely because the majority they are doing that but what you get out of standing in your own power your own light your own truth is far more rewarding I had a very challenging life very much so I've shared some of the things with you guys already but guess what it made me who I am I would not be here sharing pieces of me with you in the way that I do had I cave in and follow what everyone else wanted or expected me to do the things that I talk about is not popular, is not mainstream. The way I express myself isn't so-called popular or mainstream when you look at it in ratio to the whole. But am I caving or changing the way I do things? No, I'm building upon the way I do things. This is what a pioneer is and what pioneers do. This is what revolutionary are and what revolutionaries do I'm not trying to say that I'm a pioneer or revolutionary I'm just making the point to remind us all the difference between a follower and one who just simply own and stand in their own path and learn and grow within their own expression typically usually are revolutionaries pioneers leaders the brains of the operation, these are usually people who forged ahead and make a way out of no way. These are usually the people who build Fortune 500 companies, who, who really, really find a way to exalt all that they are in the most profound, in the most successful way imaginable. I consider myself a successful person, not because I had my own house and, you know, my own car and, you know, economic status and none of that. That's the icing on the cake. I consider myself successful because against tremendous odds, I'm still in my right mind. I'm healthy. I'm vibrant. I'm still a compassionate, caring person, but I can be stern and tough. I, you have to be. There's a toughness to me as well. I don't play, but I still allow myself 
to be what's the word I'm looking for to be flexible enough to weigh my pros and cons and make choices that are best for me and I still have family friends supporters associates who love and support me unconditionally I would rather have two people who love and support me unconditionally than to have two million who love and support an ideal concept that is not truly authentic and is not really me because when you create a persona that's not real that is yet another prison on top of the many prisons we we're already trying to work our way out of that's creating another prison and we are creating energy that ultimately is being turned back on us and we're digging a deeper and deeper hole in the process so again I ask the question so what if people don't like you what would you lose popularity acceptance but it will be based on a lie it's not good to lie it's not that we all lie sometimes I've lied you know we all lie but I think that there's a time and place for everything and we choose our battles but now that I'm older and wiser I understand the worst kind of lie is the lie that you live the worst kind of lie is the lie that you live there are lies here and there but when your entire existence is a lie because you want acceptance from people who 99.9% .9 of the time will not accept you if you truly allow them to see all that you truly are and let you, and, and if they were to hear and pick up all that you really think most of them wouldn't accept you so that's a form of conditional love and I'm all about reminding us of the importance of unconditional love because just like when we live an inauthentic life and we magnify and personify that out in the universe and we attract people environments and situations that keep feeding that vicious cycle it happens in the reverse when we live in unconditional love and our own authentic self and truth we will attract and magnify people situations and tools that will magnify that as well it may not be on a massive the on a popular mainstream scale but you know what Again, it is better to live an authentic life than to live a lie. So I want everyone within the sound of my voice who's watching me in this video to learn from my story. I'm going to keep on dancing in my videos. I'm going to keep on using symbolism to convey my thought process and where I am in life. I'm going to continue to express myself through music and song. I'm going to continue to talk about things that are not mainstream or popular, but I will also talk about things that are popular. I don't live in a box. That's me authentically being me. And some people will like it and others will not. I don't care. I like it. I'm being real with it. And as I've said before, I'm not changing for anyone outside of this. Now, as a part of my evolution, I change and I evolve. That's a natural, authentic progression. But no, I am not going to bend and hide and suppress my authentic expression, my power for a widespread or mainstream acceptance. I'm not going to do it. It's not in me to do so. So starting today, I want all of us to ask ourselves, if people don't like us, why do we care? Or why would we care if someone does not like us? And then figure out what we can do to get to a place where that is no longer relevant. I'm not going to tell anyone how to go about doing this. 
because I truly like to teach by example. And so I got a phone call. I'm a phone call that I'm waiting for actually. So on that note, I would like to remind us all the ultimate illumination will always come from within. Go inside, hold on tight, and go for what you know. <laughs>